time to warm up, we got the state's matter team right in front of y'all, and everybody just match them real quick, just draw a line to them. Make sure everybody knows them real quick. Actually, I'm gonna take this time to pick two people. So can I get you volunteers? Just two people. One, two. the sheet where you'll have solid, liquid, plasma, and gas. I want y'all to write down what y'all know about like the characteristics of like what makes a solid solid, what makes a liquid liquid, what makes a gas gas, and what makes a plasma plasma. I'm glad y'all we're talking about sublimation outside the lab before we even get into the lab. So we're gonna run through that real quick. Sublimation on mountains. All right, so you would have seen mountains, correct? You know how it's got the steam up the top, it's got the, the ice coming off? Okay, well that's sublimation. The ice coming directly off the little steam. <coughs> I showed right here. All right, sublimation on mountains work by having high, wheat spin, um, high speed winds in circulation. The sub-zero temperature combined with the air circulation that keeps the air in Airy and significantly accelerates the sublimation process. So it happens a lot quicker than what we're going to see today in the lab. It's going to be a lot quicker. It's going to be over there. It's going to be a lot colder than it is here. What do you think is going to happen before we get into it? Now that you know what sublimation is, now that I've broken it down in the um, slide, can you give me a quick interjection of what you think will happen? With the dry? Yes. Um, it's going to have like a fog kind of thing here. Mm -hmm. And. That's Like if it, if it were kind of boiling, you hear that. Yeah, a little bubbling sound, okay? Yeah. That's good. So today we are going to be doing a lab here in just a few moments. Um, you're going to get a chance to see sublimation and what it looks like up close. And we'll be doing the giant bubble lab. You all have your lab sheets in front of you if I can get names on that, please, as well. Um, I'm going to do very caution. Dry ice can burn you. So I'll, I will be placing the pieces of dry ice inside the uh, big speakers for you all. Leave it, clip it on. Jordan. Yeah, dry is probably too big. So like they're gonna get a good one over here if y'all see that. Get in the bucket in front of y'all. And y'all want, want y'all to take this orange cloth, I want y'all to dip it in here. Like so. Rush and pull it out. That will make as little bit as possible. Just bring it. And now I want y'all to take it, and I want y'all to pull it over the top of this. I 
what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make like velvet blunt bubbles for. Y'all know how y'all take the little um, the stirring stick and y'all put it in there? Y'all want to try to make like a bubble. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, Yo, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. All right, so once everybody's go down with this scene, we're going to do a quick cleanup because this is a relatively short lab. So once you are done, I want you to go ahead and pour the water in the ice right here in the sink very carefully. Maybe you all can tell how much colder the glass is from which I originally did it. sums up the lesson for today. I much appreciate everybody's cooperation and be able to listen and function. I, I really thank y'all for being able to show good practices in the lab, good low lab practices. I thank y'all for showing me good attention and no disruptions. Everyone kept their phones in their bags from what it looked like, what I was able to see. So I much appreciate y'all and thank y'all. Thank you. I probably practiced all the same for the last time. Stop him right here. Well, he's actually doing it. He's going somewhere with this. He's going somewhere with this. I like this. So, some I knew and some I didn't. I could understand if it was so close to the letter. No, 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 so sublimation is important to our daily life because this is used, believe it or not, in our fast food markets. They use dry ice every day and they got to put water on it to keep everything cold. So most stores will drop off like either food, it's in a freezer, like a giant freezer. All the walls are ice, it's solid. So you must do the same process. Plus liquid nitrogen is a lot colder than dry ice. Thank you. Do I got any questions for the day? Anywhere? That's it guys. Thank you. Thank you.